fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Oh, Silver, let's go be close. Oh, Silver, A spur line of railroad track ran from the mining town on Rainbow Creek down through the hills to Jackson Junction. As the Friday night freight was due to leave, the Lone Ranger stood beside his great horse, Silver, in the shadows at the side of the station. He watched as the agent and the conductor lifted a heavy box to the platform of the caboose, then carried it inside. Then the masked man turned toward Tonto, who approached softly. The gold's on board, Tonto. Ah. There, are plenty of gold. Yes. The biggest shipment that was ever sent out from Rainbow Creek. Ah. We ride now? No, not yet. I want to see if any passengers board the train. You look for Scarmac? Yes. He was here in town two days ago. He surely knows about the gold. He'll try to get it. Well, maybe him hold up train. <laughs> That's what I expect. But he's not likely to try it until the train's in the hills beyond Springville. We go ahead and get to Springville before train, huh? Oh, there's no hurry. The train won't reach Springville until tomorrow morning. It won't leave Springville until those empty cattle cars are loaded. Oh, we get there before then. Oh, easily. Oh, Toto, someone coming toward us. Ah. We see that fellow many times in cafe. It's Bill Galloway, the gambler. Hello there, stranger. Hello, Galloway. Well, you're masked. Yes, I'm masked. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to ask any questions. Would you mind answering a few? Well, that depends. I don't mind listening to them. Are you leaving here? Yep. Why? Well, I like to play cards, but the boys won't play with me anymore. My luck's too good for them. Say, uh, I'd pay a thousand dollars for that horse. Sorry, he isn't for sale. Would it make any difference if I boosted the ante? <laughs> not at all. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. You, Indian, how about your paint? Care to sell? No. Scout not for sale. Well, I didn't expect to get a good horse, but there's no harm trying. I'd pay plenty to ride a horse instead of that train. What are you two doing here? We're just leaving, silly big fella. Come on, Toto. Get him up, Scout. Hey, hold on. Silver. Silver. Call his horse Silver. Hey, Bill. Coming, Anson. You ready to start? Well, it'll be a while. The engineer's having some trouble. But why do you want to ride the caboose? I don't. It's going to take us about 28 hours to make the run. 
There's cattle to load at Springville. Oh, I don't want to ride with you, but I can't buy a horse. There's the Mason Ranch between here and Springville. We could drop you off there. <laughs> Mason could fix you up with a horse. You don't care much for my company, do oh, you? Oh, it isn't that, Bill. You'll be more comfortable. Yeah, you're right. Drop me off at Mason's Ranch. Now you're talking. I wouldn't have my worst enemy ride that caboose. Well, here comes Linda from the dance hall. Uh, hey, Anson, I want to get to Jackson Junction. How much? Two dollars. Here you are. <laughs> well, Anson, is Linda your worst enemy? Well, I don't have to tell her what this trip is. Besides, she can't buy a horse. Well, perhaps she'd like me to stake her. I'd like you to mind your own business, Mr. Galloway. Are you taking this train? Oh, only as far as Mason's Ranch. Mm, I'm glad it's no farther. The less conversation we have, the better pleased I'll be. That's what comes of trying to give a lady some good advice, Angie. I don't need your advice. Or it was my mistake. I presumed on a friendship which evidently doesn't exist. Mm. I'm getting on board. How long before we start? Uh, right away, I guess. Let's see. We're yeah, getting started just about on time. Come on, Galloway. Help you up the steps, Miss Linda? Thank you. No. All set. All set. Let it go. Lone Ranger and Tonto were well ahead of the train in the country between the mining camp and Jackson Junction. They reined up at the top of a hill not far from the Mason Ranch and paused to rest the horses. Oh, sir, oh, sir. Oh, oh, fella. Oh, fella. It was a low upgrade, Tonto. Oh, that's right. Oh, wait. I... What matter? Look ahead. Isn't that a fire on the tracks? That's right. It's small fire. Maybe signal fire. Perhaps someone from the Mason Ranch wants a train to stop. I want... There's a woman by the fire. Ah, her look this way. Toto, she's holding a baby. She's running away. Her afraid. But why should she be afraid? She can't see my mask in the darkness. I... Her fall down. No, sir. Get him up. Scout. Seeing the young woman fall headlong with a baby in her arms, the Lone Ranger sent Silver down the hill at a fast gait. Please go away. Please leave us alone. Haven't you already done enough? Oh, please don't be afraid. We want to help you. Help us. Are you hurt from that fall? No. Well, you're masked. You do belong to Scarmack's gang. Well, that's not the case. Aren't you Mrs. Mason? What if I am? Did you signal for the train to stop? Are you poking fun at me? Toto, go back and build up that signal fire, will you? Ah, uh-huh. me fix it. Get him off, scout. <laughs> now, let me help you. Can't you go away and leave me and the baby? Haven't you and your gang done enough? You burned the ranch. Killed my husband. Is that what happened? (laughs) Oh, please. Listen, mister. All I want is a chance to get away. To take care of the baby. If if you'll just leave me alone so I can get to the junction, I I swear I won't make any trouble for you. We're going to see that you reach the junction safely, Mrs. Mason. And then we're going to see what can be done to make Scar Mac pay for what he's done to you. Believe me, I'm not a member of his gang. You talk different. Here, let me hold that little fellow. He's looking at you. <laughs> Hello there. Why, I declare he likes you. The train's coming, Mrs. Mason. Before it stops, please tell me what happened at your ranch. Well, Scarmack's gang came just after dark. They wanted horses. Jim wouldn't sell. Then they got angry and they... They shot Jim. Then they drove off the horses. I see. They set fire to the house. I ran out the back door with the baby. Here's the train. Six alive. It's seven eight. Good. Who's up with you, ma'am? Well, it's the masked man again. Are you sure cover ground? Take care of Mrs. Mason. See that she reaches the junction with her son. Uh, yeah, sure, but uh, Springville is closer than the junction. I must get to the junction to catch an eastbound. Scarmack's gang is attacked. What's that, Scar- What's Scar- this about Scar attacking? You better get back on the train, Linda. You mind your own affairs. Why, oh, Sally Mason, you look real tired. Here, let me help you with the little guy. 
Come on, I'll help you, Bird. Uh, That's real nice. Well, stranger, where do you and the Indian figure to go from here? We're going to try to find Scar Max gang and square things for Mason. I figured on getting a horse from Mason. He's dead. He's what? He's dead. His house is burned, and his horse is stolen. Come oh, 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 on, fellow, we have work to do. Oh, hey, big fellow. Get him up, Scar. Come on, Silver. The Lone Ranger and Tonto left the railroad tracks and went to the Mason Ranch, where the fine house had been reduced to smoldering embers. Meanwhile, the train, with Sally and her child on board, got underway and continued through the night. Anson held the iron horse right on schedule and brought the train to a stop in Springville on the following morning. Then the loading of cattle began. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had picked up the trail of Scar Max gang and followed it deep into the hills. At noon, the two reined up beside the remains of a campfire. Oh, sir. Oh, 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 fella. Howdy, big fella. How old are those ashes, Tonto? Oh, maybe four, five hours. That's what I judged. The tracks continue over that way. Ah, me see him. Scar must have at least 20 men in his outfit. Ah, uh, we got plenty big job ahead. Yeah, bigger than I expected. You notice the direction of those tracks? Ah, uh, and start in different direction. Yes, there was a change in direction a half mile back. Tonto, those men are circling back toward the railroad tracks. They're going after the gold on that train. Well, sun high overhead. It's about noon. Train still in town of Springville. Let's hope the cattle loading isn't finished ahead of time. Come on, Toto. We're going to Springville. Get him up. Oh, no. The morning had been a long one for Sally Mason and her son, as well as for Linda, who was in the same car, waiting for the cattle to be taken aboard the train. Linda finally broke a long period of silence. Look, Mrs. Mason, I've got to speak my piece. I've got to. That's all, whether you like it or not. Well, what is it? You ought to get off this train right here in Springville. Why? Well, you're tired, so is the baby. Stay here for a time and rest up before you go on to the junction. But... I've no place to go. I bet that man ahead can fix that. Galloway, Mm -hmm. come here. At your service, ma'am. Look, Galloway, you know a lot of people. Can't you fix it for Mrs. Mason to stay with someone here in Springville? Well, I Please don't bother. I'll have a friend on board the train to the junction. Charlie Bates will be on the train. Bates? He owns the cattle that's been put aboard. Oh, looks like he's coming aboard right now. Is that him? Oh, yes. Well, hello, Sally. I heard you were aboard. Hello, Charlie. I heard about last night. I'm downright sorry. Why don't you persuade her to get off this train? Huh? And get off with her. Get off? You heard what I said, and I can't say any more. What's eating you, Linda? Forget I spoke. Everyone all set? You ready to get underway? You folks all going to the junction? If not, this is the time to get off the train. Oh, sure, Anson. You fools. Linda, what in the world? All right, folks, get him up. Oh, all right. Who's that? That's Scar Mac. That's Scar. Then I'm the cookie that'll deal with Hold him. Hold it, Bates. Where are you? Linda. You I'll are sure to get away. What? Oh. Sorry, Bill. But you shouldn't pull a sneak gun. Good work, Anson. It's a nice shooting. Anson. You. Working with Scar. That's right, Sally. And so is Linda. She's holding a gun on me. And I can use it, too, so don't move fast, Bates. Linda, Anson, both of you working with Scar Mac. (laughs) Surprised, dear Mrs. Mason. You murderer. Aren't you ever satisfied? If this don't beat all. Scar, you'd better see if Bates has any extra guns or knives. Good idea, Linda. Sorry about this, Sally. I... Well, I did all I could to get you off this train. Don't speak to me. How about ropes? Think we'd better rope these customers, Scar? Ty Bates and Galloway, they're tough customers. I don't think we'll have to tie the lady. (laughs) She's got her hands full with that crying young one. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. Bill Galloway and Charlie Bates were tightly tied on the train that chugged slowly through the hills during the long hours of the afternoon. They, as well as Sally Mason, were closely watched by Scar Mack and his helpers, Linda from the dance hall, and Anson, the conductor. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto took a shortcut to bring them to the tracks ahead of the train. They permitted their horses to pick their own gait on a long uphill grade. Not far from the junction, Toto. Isn't that right? We plenty close to railroad tracks. Must be just beyond these woods. Sure, we're ahead of the train. Ah. Right up, who's the little We look around before we start downhill. There, railroad tracks. You see them? Yes, and I see something else. Look where I'm pointing. Ah, smoke. Campfire, Toto. I think that's where Scar Max gang is waiting. We go get Sheriff Posse. We'll have to make sure that's the gang and the scars with the men. Yet plenty dangerous. Go close to camp. That may not be necessary. What you mean? They're waiting for the train. They'll have a guard posted near the railroad. We capture guard? If we can, we might be able to make him talk. Ah. Come on, we'll circle south. Come, Scout. Come on, so we're easy. Come. Is here. Uh-huh. Silver. Silver and scout not make noise. They keep the cover of the trees. Uh-huh. Him not see us. It's almost dark, but be careful. Camp's less than a hundred yards away. This won't work. I'll take you to the sheriff to hang for Mason's murder. No, no. I didn't shoot him. Mr. Carmack? Yeah. Now uh, you've started. Talk some more. Where's Mac? Is he with the others in that camp? No, he's supposed to be on that train. He was getting on board of Springville. Maybe him steal gold alone. He couldn't. It's too heavy to handle. Well, let me go back to the boys. I've talked like you wanted. Oh, no, you haven't. I've told you all I know. I doubt that. Where's the holdup to take place? Where? Listen. If I tell you... Will you let me go? I'm not making any promises. Where's the hold-up to be? You're a hard man to deal with. I can get harder. You, you, can, you, can, you can see the place from here. Yes. Right over there. Top of the hill. The train will be slow to walk in speed by the time she gets here. And the boys figure it'd be easy to climb aboard. Thanks. Now, Toto, we can move. Um, you go to the junction? Right away. I'll bring the sheriff and the posse back. They'll surround the gang and catch them in the act. Uh, what about me? You're coming with me. You stay here, Toto. Find some cover about halfway up the grade. There's a chance that I won't be able to make it before the train reaches here. Oh, you make it all right. Uh, it's getting late. Watch for the train. And if we haven't returned, warn the engineer before he gets to the top. Uh-huh. Time to wait for you. Into the saddle, you. Listen, I didn't have anything to do with you. Move. Move. All right. Halfway up the grade, Toto. Steady uh, me, go. Be savvy. Come on, pull there. before we get to the big grade, Anson. Fifteen minutes. You know, Sky, I've been wondering about those two men and the woman. What do we do with them? Keep your voice down so they don't hear us. I got it all worked out. Why not just let them go? Not on your life. You're going to take them with us? We'll have to take the engineer and the fireman, Linda. Not if you use a gun on them. I'd like to do without gunfire on this deal. The top of the hill's pretty close to the junction. They might hear the shots. All right. We take the engineer and the fireman with us. But there's the baby. What about him? I told you I had it figured out. You're not going to hurt him. Look. 
Right now we get the gold out of this car and onto the roof of the next one. What for? Because halfway up the grade, the coupling on this caboose is going to be uncoupled. It'll roll down the hill and smash up. We'll get rid of the woman and the two men without firing a shot. No! Shut up. There's no need for them to know what's going to happen till it does. Sounds good to me. But we better start with that box right now. But listen, what about the baby? Linda, you've been a lot of help on this job. Now, don't spoil it. It's murder. And you said there wouldn't be any killing. There wasn't supposed to be anybody riding the train. I won't let you. Hey, Linda. Hold it. Don't draw. Linda, put that gun down. What's the idea? I thought I'd wait until the whole gang could be caught. But I'm not going to be a party to murder. You go on, loco. You're the one who's loco. You were loco to trust me. Do you know who I am, Scar? Look at me. Don't I remind you of somebody? <laughs> Scar. Oh, quiet. Harvey Ashland, Scar. I'm Harvey Ashland's sister. I was in the East when you killed him. You never saw me, but when I got back here, I swore that you'd pay for his death. That was over a year ago. I've been looking for you ever since, but it wasn't until I hit the cafe that I got my chance. You like to talk, don't you? I want you to know why I'm shooting you. You dry gulched Harvey, shot him in the back... But this is going to be face to face. Linda, look out for Anson. What? Drop that gun. Oh, my wrist. Don't let go. Of her. Steady, Mrs. Mason. You, you, you haven't got me yet. Oh, Hang on to Linda. Uh, I'll fix it. Oh. Uh, that'll hold it. You beast. Don't worry, Mrs. Mason. You won't get knocked out like that. You just need a few ropes to make you behave. Go ahead, kill us. Get it over with. How long before the grade, Anson? We'll make the curve in five minutes. Then we'll start to climb. So Linda turned out to be a double crosser. Well, for that, she can ride downhill with the others. When Linda regained consciousness, she found herself tightly bound in the seat beside Sally Mason and the baby, which mercifully was asleep. Bates and Bill Galloway, both tied hand and foot, were on facing chairs. Linda, are you all right? Oh, my head. Tied? Yeah, we're all in the same boat, Linda. We saw how you tried to save us, Linda. <laughs> Where are those crooks? Anson and Scar moved the gold to the car ahead. Oh. Yeah, they don't want the gold to crash downhill with the rest of us. If, if I could only get my hands free. No use trying, Linda. They've done a complete job with these ropes. Oh. We're starting uphill. It won't be long now. Oh, there now, Billy. Poor kid. I woke up at the wrong time. And, and I can't even hold him. Oh, Billy. Billy, why didn't you stay asleep? Whoa, whoa, Silver, hold on. Did you get Sheriff Kimasabi? Yes. He's waiting with his mail at the top of the hill. Him close in when outlaws make attack? Yes. Train down there. It come uphill plenty slow. Yes, I see it. It soon get here. Then outlaw make move. Toto. Look at that train. Uh -huh. Me see. The caboose is detached. Uh -huh. That's where people ride. It's slowing. Tonto, it will coast downhill. It'll go plenty fast at bottom. Follow me, Tonto. Run, hold it up. Come. The masked man grasped the situation in an instant and heeled the muddy silver to top speed. Scar and Anson saw him pass. The Lone Ranger ignored the shots they fired in his direction. He bent low over the saddle, riding parallel to the tracks to overtake the disconnected caboose. The caboose had slowed to a stop on the uphill grade and started rolling backwards, carrying the helpless occupants to certain death. Silver! Silver seemed to know that split seconds were important. The mighty stallion overtook the rolling car. The masked man guided Silver close enough to reach out and grasp an iron railing. Hold it, Silver. Steady, boy. Here I go. He pulled himself from the saddle. Then he was aboard the caboose, prepared to share the fate of the others if he failed to stop the coasting car. In an instant, he was at the brake, applying it with all his strength. 
Sunlight. If I could only hold my baby. If my arm was only free to hold him. Sally. Sally, someone's applying the brake. No. No, I can't believe it. But it's true. Look out the window. We're slowing down. It's that masked man that got aboard. We are slowing down. Look out there, Bates. The brake is holding. Whoever that masked man is, he's going to save us. Look, Sally, look. I can't believe it. We're stopping. We sure are. Sally. Sally, we're saved. There you are. Your hands are free. I'll untie the ropes on Galloway. Turn around here, Bill. Yeah, a few minutes ago, I didn't expect to live to see these ropes taken off. There, Sally. Now you're free. Oh. Here, you better hold your baby. Oh, dear, darling. It's all right. There you are, Bates. I don't know how you did it, mister, but we're sure obliged to you. I'd have been willing to die if it had meant the end of Scar Mac. I think Scar Mac has reached the end of his trail without your death. Hey, uh, the sheriff! Everything all right in here? Yeah, yeah. Sheriff. Sheriff, Scar Mac was going to kill us. He was going to steal the gold. Hold everything, Bates. We know all about Scar Mac and his plans. We met the whole gang at the top of the hill. Met them? More than that, we took them. Hey, I want to see that masked man that's going out the other end. He's the one that you can thank for being alive right now. Well, there he is. Out there. Hmm. His Indian friend has met him. Come on, well, that settles it. The man's got to work awful fast if he hopes to thank the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated, 